Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Yoshiko weather station with radio control clock and indoor and outdoor thermal hydrometer. Uh, I got this as a used item at £35 and this can be up to about £50 but it actually came from Yoshiko this one. It said uh, box may so show signs of opening which it does, it's got some tape on. Um, so let's just hope it's all right. Um, I was hoping for the screen to be a bit bigger than this so there's quite a lot of information on this screen so we'll have a look and see how easy it is to look at. So there's what's written on the back of the box. And let's just break through that sellotape there. There we go. So this is a bit different, this outside one. It's actually got a display on the front, because uh, one I've had before, you just put it outside somewhere, you know, and it, you, you just latch it up. But this one's actually got a display on the front. So, yeah, that's, that's a bit better. And it takes two AA batteries. It doesn't look like they come with it. Or they may have done in the original box, who knows. And straight away we've got a 21.1 centigrade at 66 humidity there. There we go. Quite a nice display. So that's definitely better than my old one. But one thing that they do not mention on Amazon, on a lot of these, they, they show you pictures of all the display and everything, but they never show a picture of the back of it, because I wanted to know whether I can um, warm out this. Straight on and put two AA batteries in there. Okay. reasonably big. I mean if, if I've replaced maybe my desk clock with this one the display is actually a little bit bigger. If you're wondering on the dimensions of the actual display not the unit this is. Uh, so the actual display is, let's get that right, 12 and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters. The entire box is just under 15 centimeters wide and 11 centimeters high. It does have some depth to it and it's got a little stand there but you can change the angle so that's the angle you get whether you like it or not. Which in fact if you look at my, um, I just come out a bit there, mine Mine's actually, you can angle it. Whereas this one, in the same position, doesn't look so good, does it? Much better if it was like that. So I guess the best place for this one would be a, a shelf, I would think. So that's a bit annoying. I was, you know, that could have done with, yeah, it's, you can't move it. Anyway, let's see if we can get the thing to go. Uh, no joy there. Let's just 
if I put these in the right way around. Oh, my mistake. I put this one in the wrong way around. Ah, a reassuring bleep. Oh, and we're off. Okay, so there's all sorts on this one. So we've got a barometer here and sun and rain and it shows if the trend is going up or down. That's quite nice. And we've got an indoor temperature and humidity and an outdoor temperature and humidity, which obviously be from, from this when it receives it. And we've got a clock area and we've got moon phase, sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset. All I have to do is set the country here. Let's get that right now. So there we go. Barometer and sun, moon and rises and sets, clock and indoors and outdoors temperature and humidity. So it's quite, it's quite a nice little weather station really. And it's not too hard to understand. I, I think I like this one because it showed so much in such a compact area, whereas some of them only show bits of these features. We might only get one and you have to toggle between them. It's all there on, on the screen right from the word go. Now, can I work out how to change the country region from this? Or is a history as well? And a channel. So, channel. One, two, I think you see the, uh, the little house up there. There you go, one, two, three. So one, and now it's picked up the, uh, the exterior sensor and it's picked up on channel one. So, you, oh, it's lost it again. Oh, it's cycling through them. Uh, okay, so there's a little cycle sign. So you can either have it cycling through the three or on one specific. So in this case, it's on one. Wow, that's a rather nice unit. So now all I've got to work out is how to change the, uh, the regions. I think that the time will set, I think the time will set itself. It's one of these that is a radio controlled device. That, that also is the reason for getting this particular one. Quite nice, I'll get a pressure history in the future there. And a rising or a falling maybe. Oh yeah, rising or falling there. Sorry, let's just, I'm chatting away and I keep forgetting that uh, I should be holding it like this. Yeah, there says rising and falling there. So it's a rather nice unit. So let, let's have a, other than you can't, a great unit, but you can only put it like that. So we'd have to go higher up on the shelf, otherwise it ain't no good. That's a bit annoying. So I did want to put it there, but never mind. I'll have to go somewhere else in the house, I think. So let's have a quick look. I will show you the booklet. Oh, I had to put the battery in. Technical details. More technical details. Oh, and that was a key, and then what all the all they all are mode. Mounting options. Okay, we've set up. Although I think most of it would do itself. The only real thing on setup you've got to do is make sure you've got the right channel for the outside sensor and set it to the right country and then, then you're off.
It's got an alarm in it if you wish, daily alarm. So you can use it as a normal clock on your bedside if you wish. There's a snooze function as well. Oh, you can change it to Fahrenheit and 24 hours. So it's fully customizable for everyone's country preference. Quite a lengthy uh, booklet. I was I was thinking it's going to go into another language any moment now, but it hasn't so far. And there we go. That's just disposal. So the, it's entirely in English. Okay, so I, I've roughly set it all up now. The clock set itself up very quickly and I found how to change it to 24 hour. The outside sensor, we saw that, that went quite quickly. Um, London, or well, UK, that's the best setting there. The only thing I have to do is you have to set the altitude uh, Really, it says do that first of all, go on Google and find out what your actual altitude is, always the barometer won't be correct. And to do that, you uh, go to this history button and you just keep it pressed for a few moments. And there we are. And you can just adjust them. So it's on 60 at the moment. I'll have to see what it actually is to adjust. I haven't done that bit yet. Okay, as for the rest of it, I say the clock sets itself, you have to put in this bit and all the rest does itself. So when, once you've decided whether it's 24 hour or not, that's it. So clicking on mode will change to alarm one and alarm two. So there's two different alarms on here. And then back to that. If you keep it pressed a bit longer, which I'm doing now, that it starts flashing. And you can manually change the time if you know, you're not picking up the signal at all. And you can change the date, 24 hours, which I've already done there. And then you change the uh, location and you're off. And I was incorrect actually about um, wall mounting. Just noticed you can wall mount it. It's just this actually when it's wall mounted will help it just stick that way a little bit to read it. So you can put it too high up. So I am going to wall mount it, take my old barometer off and there. Uh, Pop this one there, so that's good to know. That was one thing I really did want to know. I don't know why I didn't notice it when I was just started doing the unboxing there. But that was one thing I really wanted to know, whether it could be wall mounted or not, and it didn't say, yes it can. So I think this is a rather nice unit. There's lots, lots on there, but actually it's very straightforward to look at and understand what everything means, because it's all labelled. And um, I think this is one of the best ones, especially for the price I paid, £35. To get the most amount of information in quite a small space. I mean, personally, I'd have loved it if it was a bit bigger, but yeah, there we go. But you couldn't pack much more information into this sort of space, could you? It's even got a, you know, histories and what have you. I don't think I've ever had one with moon rise and set before and sunrise and set. That's that's a new one for me there. So um, so far so good. This is my gazebo outside. So this is where I've put my sensor. So it's on the inside of the gazebo, which is virtually outside. But it's just inside enough to protect it from the extreme weather. But it does mean that in the uh, summer it gets a little bit warmer in here, so you don't get correct reading. And it can also give an incorrect dampness because I've got glazing. So it'd be slightly different outside, but it will mean this unit will last a lot longer. So it's a rough guide. I mean, this time of year, pretty accurate for uh, temperature. And we have a visitor. Oi, oi, what are you doing? He's listening.
What's the matter with you? Oh, one more thing. The snooze button on the top here, which you can use it, is an alarm bed clock. Also has a nice blue display light. And it lights the whole thing up. That's rather nice, isn't it? So I'm, I'm very pleased with it. So that is the Yoshiku weather station. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.